Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today I have my sister in town from Philadelphia and she's going to take me along her perfect vegan day in Los Angeles. Are you ready, Stacy? I'm ready. All right, here we go. We are at Donut Friend in Los Angeles, and this is an all vegan donut shop that names all their donuts off of different bands. So I'm about to take a bite of the Fudge Gazi. Oh, it's really good. Mmm. <laughs> I approve. Donut sandwich. Um, in Philly, we have Dottie's Donuts, and um, might give them a run for their money. So next stop is Liberated Salon in Atwater, and it is an all-vegan hair salon, and I'm gonna get my hair done. Um, right now we are lifting her hair to match the bottom so she's blonde, okay. getting rid of the pigment and then we're going to tone her and make her super white, blonde, as light as we can get. All the products that they use are vegan, so free of all animal products and they also are cruelty free, meaning that none of the products were tested on animals. Um, cruelty free, not tested on animals as organic as you can get, non-toxic. I'm now blonde, Fear. California blonde. I think I'm ready, ready for tacos, for ready for tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Hugo's Tacos, I it is it. <laughs> just across the street. Um, it's not an all vegan place, but I had some really good intel saying it has the best vegan tacos and burritos in LA. And I really trust that source, so we're gonna see for ourselves. All right, sister, what do you got? This is a vegan soy chorizo taco with avocado salsa. And I got a taco. There's potatoes in here. And I got tamales for Sunday. Oh. It's nice oh yeah. Spicy. It's pretty good. It's not exactly what I expected because it's got potatoes in it. And uh, I didn't I didn't research the salsas before I made my salsa choice. Yeah, mm -hmm. avocado salsa, which is pretty good, but maybe it's gone with a red one. I'll probably figure out the burrito. That's what Kate really recommended, but next we're going to Hinterhof, which is an all vegan German restaurant and beer garden, which I've never, didn't even know those existed. And on Saturdays, they have an early happy hour from three to five. So let's go check it out. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Half. 50%. Wow. Um, Pennsylvania Dutch. Oh, but you I, told me that. I love Germany. I've been to Germany many times. I have many German friends. I would like to move to Germany. I love German food. So I'm excited to have some German vegan food, which I haven't had since the last time I was in Germany, which was a few years ago. And, you know, enjoy some cheap German beer. Here we go. Happy hour. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, Hefeweizen, uh, yeah, uh, happy hour one. Um, I was gonna do the flight, but do you have like recommendations yeah. of one? I was like, like leaning towards some of the pills, but. Dude, burger is the most popular internationally. All right, so yeah, yeah, that sounds good. So sister, yep. how long have you been vegan? 
I believe about almost 15 years. 15 years you've been vegan. Have you ever broke vegan? You're I, under, had, you're under oath. I had my year with no rules in 2015 where I ate a federal donut, which is a type of donut brand in yeah. Philly. That's it? Um, I seem to remember there being I'm, some sushi. That was it. Fish sushi? I've never had fish. What was the thing that we did we get like? We also got cookies from Insomnia. Oh, that was the first time I ever got drunk. And the, this was in the year with no rules. Very much like a festival. Really? Yes. Tom. Oh, gracias. Thank you. Look at that. What did you get? I got the banana bites. Yes. A little better. <laughs> Pinky's up. I always gotta have the pinky up. Every time you travel, you pretty much do like a vegan tour mm -hmm. of the area, right? So. I do. What do you think is like the biggest difference, you know? between like East Coast vegan food and like West Coast vegan food? Do you, or is there a difference? Uh, West Coast food, there's a lot of raw vegan restaurants, like super healthy places, smoothie, like vegan places that are just like smoothies and juices. Mm -hmm. And then California seems really into their burgers. So, so the contrast to raw vegan food and juices is there's a lot of vegan burger places. Oh, I can't. Our pretzel Thank you. Uh, it's like eating too much wasabi. There, that's the way to do it. This is the right that's amount of mustard. No, my nose is like burning. The mustard's from Germany. Mmm, I have the right amount of mustard. Woo. Well, we had some beers. <laughs> pretzel. Next stop is Besties Vegan Paradise, which is a vegan short store vegan store in Hollywood. Uh, so they got some stuff going on. Hopefully some interesting products and snacks to take back to Philly. Let's see. Let's go. We are at Besties Vegan Paradise in LA, which is an all vegan grocery store, convenience store got pretty much any products you could ever want from all around the country, probably other parts of the world, vegan cheeses, everything else. I don't know, we're gonna see what they have, maybe get some snacks to bring back to Philly. I mean, we have a vegan uh, shop in Philly called V Marks the Shop, so I'm kind of seeing how how it compares and if there's anything here that we don't have in Philly that might be good to bring back. Yeah. Well, I can get these in Philly, but not many places and I love it. It's vegan jerky. Uh, it's one of my favorites. This I haven't seen many places. I've gotten this brand before, but in Europe. But these are sea salt chocolate caramels. Uh, I decided to swap out my vegan jerky for a local one that I've never had before and this will be a perfect uh, travel snack for the flight home. We are at True Tattoo in Hollywood. I am about to get my taco tattoo, vegan taco tattoo that I've wanted for a really long time. Getting tattooed by little Dave Parker who is someone I knew back from when I lived in Bloomington, Indiana. So let's go get the paint on. <laughs> what kind of taco is it? Uh, we didn't really discuss that. It's, a vegan it's definitely vegan. We are nearby a nice little vegan area in West Hollywood where we are by a vegan ice cream shop called Cocobella Creamery, Doomy's Home Cooking Restaurant, and Doomy's Next Mex. So, not sure exactly what we're gonna get. Maybe some ice cream, maybe a little bite to eat. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna check them out. Okay, can I get that in a cup with 
the magic show on it? Yeah. Yes. I think this might be the end of our vegan journey today. The <laughs> topping on our Sunday. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. So, this is our last stop. Vegan ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Dessert to end our night. Uh -huh. The vegan magic show. So, do you have a good time, sister? I'm good. Uh, now I'm tired. Now you're tired? I'm ready to go back to Philadelphia. And eat Philly vegan food. Well, I hope you enjoyed our trip through uh, a vegan day in LA. And uh, share, like, subscribe, all those good things. And I will see you next week.